Good evening, everyone. How are you guys doing? Got a sweet playoff game coming for you guys. So this is the round of 32. And first up, we have a brilliant but slightly injured High Elf team. 2200 team value. Just about every permanent injury you could ever imagine on a team. I believe I counted them the other day and it was something like 14 or 15 permanent injuries being carried. Okay, more than an injury per player. Which is quite impressive. <laughs> but uh, this team's here. It's done pretty well this season. I uh, believe they came out of uh, either 2A or B. It was one of the twos, I think. Maybe one of the threes. But they had a great season in Rel. And it's a, it's a solid team. You know, it's got a lot of the players you expect to have. 2A, there we go. There's one or two. So, a lot of things you expect to have on an old elf team. You've got stat ups. Unfortunately, he's missing this uh, strength 5 frenzy catcher for this game. Which is a little, you know, a little disappointing. Strength 5 is quite amazing on an elf. Uh, he's still got the natural one-turner, Tunare. Uh, movement 10, Sprint, Sure Feet, and Juggernaut makes it really easy to get through any backline, especially a Skaven backline, where they're going to be rocking some Strength 2 there. Um, also, this Strength 4 catcher, oddly enough, one of the only uninjured players on the team, and definitely the uh, the star, I think. Also got a Tackle Palmer, could be useful. Yeah, 2450 if he had all of the players. It's quite quite insane how high TV this is. Um, tackle Palmer is going to be great, quite good. The uh, tackle diving tackle uh, sidestep also going to be very good in this matchup. Uh, a couple guard players could uh, be useful if he wants to, like, you know, get into a fight. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite good, and it would make an amazing Immortal Team XS. <laughs> amazing, because you just get to wipe all these permanent injuries off, and your team is just looking godly. And who are they up against? Well, it's none other than... Oh, God. Blood Bowl being... Messy to me. Okay, well... As you guys can see here, my... Uh... <laughs> My Blood Bowl game is not working, so I'm just going to reload it, and we can get get over to the other team. Well, good thing it happened right then. And not during the game. So we'll just quickly reload Blood Bowl up and pull up uh, Crystal Hunter's team. So this is a Skaven team who uh, made it past Elves in the first round. Uh, pro elves, but you know elves nonetheless. So, you know maybe he knows what he's doing in this kind of a matchup. We'll have to see. Good old cyanide, though. They certainly know how to make a game. Okay. So I can get here quickly enough. Okay. Uh, the rat. There we go. And this is the other team <laughs> which we found. And this is, you know, this is also impressive team. Uh, tackle Palm, uh, Claw, somewhat useful against Elves, but you know, there's a lot of Armor 7 even though it is a high elf team because of all the amounts of injuries they have. Um, horns could be useful. There's a lot of dodge on the team though, so this, this Blitzer is probably not going to be blitzing that often. It's going to be more Woodle Blade. Um, has a natural one turn of his own, although it's not quite as good as the other side. Uh, just sprint and movement 10 on this one. But uh, the rest of his gutter runners are serviceable. Um, 
if not a little fresh. Got the kick. You've got dirty player. 1770, which means we're looking at 430,000 inducements. And when you give rats or any uh, agility team a lot of inducements, they tend to put it to good work. So that's the other team, and I believe they should be starting soon. So we're going to pop over to Cabal TV and see if they're ready to go. Looks like it's not quite up yet, but we'll hop in as soon as they are. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's going to be the elves or the Skaven that come out of this one? I think both teams have the tools to deal with the other team. Uh, maybe the uh, inducements will shift it slightly in favor of the rats, I believe. Because 430 means we're probably looking at a, uh, a wizard and some babes to deal with the palmer. And maybe a star player or a bribe to take full advantage of this dirty player. Lots of good choices on offer for the uh, the Skaven. And there we are. Game is going live. Yep, dueling natural one-turners. The last time we had that was... Uh, <laughs> Last time we had that going was um, Ramaset versus Finns, and neither of them <laughs> one turned. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> yes, a lot of stat busts on this team. Agility, armor, movement, um, agility, niggle, armor, two armor, strength. He's got a strength two lineman on the line. <laughs> Uh, 14 or 15, I think, is the total Swag Tusk, but they're missing someone who had a large number of those uh, for this game. So probably like 11 on the pitch. Did, did I... Was this on the team when I last looked? Was, was, did I just miss the Red Ogre? Did he buy one? For the game. Could be. Yeah, it could be a, a mercenary. That's cool. Yeah, not inducing big rat. We are looking at a bribe, a wizard, and a, ro a roger, I guess. Yeah, that makes up to 400 something. So let's get ourselves behind these rat the, uh, these rats here who are on offense, and let's see how much damage they can do. <laughs> I have yet to see a big guy do anything useful, Swag Tusk. Every game I've watched so far, the big guys have been absolute trash. But who knows, maybe this one will do something useful. Maybe he'll surf an elf or something. Uh, it was, it was great in, um, in some ways. <laughs> Depends what side you're on. <laughs> uh, looks like he's gonna be... 
Yeah, it looks like he might be um, trying to take out the guard with this Palmer. Seems like the uh, the best target for him. Although I almost wish like maybe you would use the Mighty Blow t without the tackle for that job, and use the tackle Palmer over on the dirty uh, the diving tackle player. Extra team reroll to the high elves. I believe they have the fame for this game. They do. And the ball is very shallow, which I think favors the elves. I always like to go shallow against other agility teams because they do like to keep the ball deep on a thrower or something. And rats with their large movement, you know, just keep it safe deep away from where the elves are. This elf team, probably not as sack heavy as a lot of the other elf teams. They only have the one leap and it's just a wrestle guy. But he can still do things. He's only movement five though. Still, if this ball is... Oh, wow. Quad! That's a quad! Opening block. First action. This game is off to a great start. <laughs> this game is off to a great start. <laughs> and that ball is so retrievable by the elves. <laughs> oh, you gotta feel for Crystal Hunter, but not because, you know, that's a hideous Storm Vermin. <laughs> I mean, he made the hit with the best player, too, first. Like, if you're gonna make a two dice block with anyone, it's gonna be this player as your first action, and he quadded it. Whew. Yeah. I would have loved to see, like, a little more of a screen in front of this ball, just because it was so shallow. So you can come here, and I believe you have enough movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Palm onto this wrestle tackle gutter. You can't clear the ball. I don't think there's a way to get a chain push here. Not easily. And then this, this catcher is going to have to retrieve it and get it back to this thrower, I think. Try to put the ball back deep in your own half. Is targeting. He has Juggernaut, guys. He's able to take that wrestle out. And that is a niggle. That's going to need to be apoed. Nope. Saving it. Determines that a wrestle tackle gutter runner is not worth the 50 50. And that, my friends, is probably a dead gutter runner. Because wrestle tackle is probably not the greatest skill set, so carrying it with a niggle, probably not something he's going to want to do. So I, I vote elves. <laughs> okay, so the throwers came here. Then we're going to screen him off and try and get it back to the thrower with this catcher, potentially. Um, yeah, we, we see a screen coming in. And if he's able to get this 3 plus pickup, 2 plus dodge, 2 plus handoff, uh, it's going to be a pass. Or GFI. Kind of standing in his way a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do it with a dodge there, but I don't think you want to dodge first. I think you just want to do the GFI at the end. Depends if he has his reroll left or not. But oh man, that was quite the start. We're gonna go for the pickup. 
Pick up with a three. Successful. On the sideline. Does he just hold it on this catcher? It's not a terrible spot. You know, it's probably safe there. He's going for the handoff, though. Has to reroll. You know what? I don't think you do the handoff now. I think you're okay letting this strip ball maybe have a chance. Because he's pretty far away. One, two, three. Let's see. If this guy goes down, one, two, three. Well, that gets rid of the guard. So now he can make a two dice on this gutter, on this line rat. So that was a good hit there, and then he gets a two dice here. With powed. And if you stun him in this square, I think that's really good. You do. Oh, wait, but no, he should have stayed. Okay, that was a mistake falling, right? Because if he had stayed, this roger can't open the gap for them to come around the back. So that may be a slight mistake there. Following. I think he needed that player right here. Oh, he's fouling. No assist foul. Dodge from prehensile tail. Okay, well now the... There's no free... I did like the dodge because he did have to shore up this middle here. If he was still on the roger, the roger could have opened up a little gap in the middle here. Now he needs the blitz to open the gap. What a horrendous start to your own drive though. He has a jump up hit here. Never mind. This square is kind of a bad spot to stand, but uh, I think he had to do it to get the assist here. Did he have to? No, he could have put guard here. Jump up's really good in this spot though. I'm gonna try and open a path here in the middle. That's why I'd rather have it on the, the throw, I think. But. Nope, strength. Oh, it's strength too. He didn't even need the assist. Okay, so this is one of those things that I find happens a lot in Blood Bowl games. You, uh, you see a player, they're an elf. You don't think to yourself, well, the elf could be strength too. So you subconsciously place this assist here. And now you're going to end up having to do some dodges around the back if you wanted to go back there. That you wouldn't have had to do if you just realized that this guy was strength 2 to start. <laughs> so maybe a little victim of the game not showing you the stat downs as an icon or something. I really wish they would allow you to see him. Ooh, we're going to one dice here. Going to get just the stumbles. Still, there's no guard here, so in order to get this guy off, he needs an uphill. Uphill's not terrible because it's versus wrestle. The problem is that if you don't get a push or better, like if it is a both down, you're going to have to go past diving tackle if you're coming through this way. So that's slightly a problem. But I think this uphill is the play if you want to get the ball this turn. The other path involves one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, he's not gonna get there from around the back. Okay, that makes it a 1D now. So that's not terrible. So you hit here and follow to here, then you can dodge this one from tackle only and get a strip ball uphill. Um, but if you pow here, then it will be not uphill. Going with the roger on the strength 
interesting choice because it was sidestep. Um, this guy didn't have guard though. Ruger's able to stun, but just one short on either dice roll of getting a removal there. This gets a two dice here. And we walk up onto the ball. But there is guard in play. Oh, oh, dub skull. Only a dub skull. But now he can blitz or hit here. Push is. Push is good enough. Question is can he stop these gutter runners from having a shot at the ball? Is he going to be able to get enough people near it, uh, in the way? Potentially. He could wrestle the gutter runner down. That's a thing. Because if he gets this gutter runner down on the floor, then I think this catcher is safe from it. So my goal here as the high elves would be to get this gutter runner on the floor. <laughs> Which means you're going to need to place one player on both these two guys to cancel assists for both this hit and this hit. Oh, he stops hold again! Okay, well, you know, this is actually, you know, kind of fair. Yeah, I, I know what you guys mean. What the hell is this game? But you know, Crystal Hunter quad skulled, so I guess it's only fair that, uh, not for science rolls, his own pseudo quad skull. I mean, it wasn't the same block, but two dub skulls in the same turn. Blood ball, everyone. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, this guy is now well within range of getting this ball. Not yet, you know. They, maybe they'll dub skull another try. <laughs> you know, you never know. They only have one reroll left. They had to use their reroll on both of the turns. Okay, so we're gonna go with a blitz to get the uh, two dice here. Ooh, there's an injury. And that is another perm that the Apo saves. But how is he getting this two dice on the ball? Is he gonna go just with the one dice? DP can assist. Yeah, on a GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a two dice there. Brings back for the assist to get a palm hit onto the AV6. Can't break AV6 with Palm. Go figure. Roger can hit here to make this less dice, but it's risky. Roger does get it. Gets a KO.
Now it's no GFI to get the assist on the ball. Yeah, that is what happens when double skulls. You just have all your players based up. Uh, both down is good enough because of Russell. Ball goes extremely favorably for the High Elves, however. With it relatively hard to get there and then out. Um, see, a gutter runner can do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. GFI throw it. It is a dodge and a GFI, though, off of um, tackle, which is worth noting. Now, both of these blitzers here have edgy three. So I think it's still the catcher or this thrower that's picking this ball up. How <laughs> to get your star gunner surfed, a lesson from t <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. We can scatter the ball. We choose to just push him off it, though. How to get your guard gutter runner murdered by tackle palm. A lesson by crystal hunter. Through the kicker. Yeah. Three plus, two plus. Then another GFI to get off the sideline. Although here's not the worst spot. He's going to go with the uh, movement 10 one though. He fails the pickup. Needs to re-roll. Last re-roll. Double one's the pickup. This game, guys, this game. <laughs> you can't make it up. <laughs> That's the star runner, sir. <laughs> Is this going to be palmed? I think it will be. No, it's a KO. It doesn't need to palm it. He palms it anyways. It's still a KO. <laughs> Can we call it a draw? <laughs> but there goes the gutter runner. Out of bounds. That's an injury. That's a badly hurt, so he's automatically safe. Now he gets to clear the ball with tackle diving tackle. In which he won't dub skull, okay game? He won't dub skull this block. <laughs> he says as we try to get this guy to dub skull. This is an exciting game where both coaches are already tilted. <laughs> yep. You can base up the Roger with strength 2. Probably the best use you're going to get out of a strength 2 lineman, to be honest. If this is not a removal. Okay, it's not a removal. That means that the path to it with Agi 4 is kind of blocked. Though the lineman can get there. Kick lineman just picks it up and holds it there. Not the worst spot. You do definitely want to base the uh, Roger with the um, the Strength 2 lineman because otherwise you're probably getting your star thrower surfed. Never mind, he's got Fend, so that's going to stop any surfing potential in this thrower. <laughs> I think we all love Crystal, but we all want disgusting Claw Palm vermin to die and natural one-turners as well. The rest of his gutter runners, I think everyone will be fine if they live though. It's just block and 
one. The rest of the tackle is probably dead at this point. And the Blodge Guard one's kind of... I, I, I have nothing against a Blodge Guard gutter runner. I think they're cool. Strength 2 marks up the tackle, the uh, horns power. Get away from Prehensile Tail to screen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was that's very similar to what the uh, Pro Elves experienced against Crystal Hunter's team last round, round was set. The sidestep once makes you want to kill it? Yeah, I guess. Sidestep is annoying. And this catcher can get out on a 3-2 as well. Or not. And do you reroll that? I don't think you do. He does. He gets out. He's just gonna base up the uh, the gutter runner in the back. Just to make it a little harder to score with. I don't like leaving the the roger free to do whatever he wants. But Crystal Hunter is out of rerolls. <laughs> For three turns. <laughs> three turns of hits and he's out of rerolls. That's just so bad. And y you have to feel for him because his I don't think his rerolls were poorly used. I think he had to reroll every one. He did. Um, Bolt was definitely an option tech. I think it might have been correct. You got a good chance of it scattering out of bounds, but like if the ball just scatters like here or here or any of these squares or even into this guy's hands, you, your recovery is really hard. But I think he might have just had to go for it. The problem with the bolt here is that he's lost three gutter runners already. And, you know, like, that's three gutter runners. Like, you have one gutter runner to pick the ball up and no one to score. Uh, do you take score quick? Take advantage of zero rerolls. Hmm. Certainly an option. Strength two guy taking a hit like a champ. I think you can afford to stall this out to eight and not let him get these guys back, and potentially this guy. Like, you've only actually caused one permanent injury, so... Oh, the Roger. Ah, uh, big guys doing exactly what they do best in, um... Rebel, which is disappoint you. <laughs> that surprised absolutely no one. <laughs> Why is there a strength 2 lineman on the pitch? Well, that is a good question, Techie. And I believe the answer is Not For Science never fires players. So that is why there is a strength 2 lineman on the pitch. <laughs> It's a sick kid from the Elves make a wish program. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. So I think if I am um, not for science, I'm palming the hell out of full throttle. And also hitting this guy because there's guard here and he has a free hit here. And you don't follow it so that you get a free hit here. Or you follow it. Okay. It's a good stun. Oh, we're popping the gutter runner. 
And that's another dub skull. I'm pleasantly surprised that it wasn't a quad. Okay, look, not for science, stop rolling dice and move the ball. <laughs> ball is safely in the hands of the blodge strength four sidestep. Now just put the ball down here and never move it until the you have to score. Like you don't have to score. I don't think you do score. Because all these rats are coming back. But I guess scoring is also fine. He's stopping short. He's thinking about it. He's not scoring. Yeah, I just stalled this to eight, I think. I agree with Lumi. This Draenor is what happens when you let Nuffle choose the dice roll. <laughs> Oh, whoa, why are we putting this guy closer to the ball? I would have liked him here. <laughs> Diceiest game this season. <laughs> Nuffle, take the wheel. <laughs> Try the two foul. I like that. Didn't work because he <laughs> rolled another one. Problem with the wizard is you don't have a recovery. Yeah, you still don't have a recovery. There's just no way. You might be able to force the score a little early. Roger goes after the kicker. Throw is pretty much like stuck on the sideline. Probably gonna have to score this turn, I think. Uh, he can come up and foul the kicker. On a three up. Which is what we're doing. Ooh. That's a send off, which means it's gonna waste the bribe. But he gets rid of kick. Yeah, it's an induced roger excess. So that's one inducement. Oh, there goes the tackle and the diving tackle. And the gutter's on the floor. Oh yeah, you definitely pile on something, for sure. I think you can stall, still. I don't think he has to score. Yes, induced red ogre. I believe the uh, quantity of inducements for this game was 470k, something like that. Like he just had lots of excess to uh, to spend. You can safely stall on the right hand side of the pitch here. Very easily. He's going to. I don't know about this close. I probably would have been like down here. Just because we're technically in range of the gutter runner now. In terms of like a bolt and pick up. And then huck it. Put a rat down this way. He's gonna foul here. After palming this guy. Oof, palm doesn't actually break. That's not great.
Here comes the strength 2 foul. It's a KO. Is it a send off? It's not a send off. Oh my god. What the hell? There we go. Cyanide just like loves to screw with me. <laughs> yeah, palm right next to the DP. <laughs> Very brave. Especially with no more Apo. No, this is not a screen. This is a, I know how you have no one that's going to get the ball off my strength 4. Other than the bolt. But I don't think the bolt's right here. Yes, in this game, Ramaset. Everything's going to be a dub skull. Abba's gone on both sides. Apo saved this guard lineman from a niggle, I think. Yeah, I think there's a niggle. <laughs> Is this a screen? <laughs> Oh, there's a GFI fail. Okay, now the gutter runner gets palmed. So you go here with this guy, here with this guy, you hit here, then you palm here. Yeah, you would have rerolled that, Luke, if you had a reroll. <laughs> He's been out of rerolls for quite a while now. I would like to see a palm on the only gutter runner left on the pitch. I think that would settle the score. Looks like he's just going to go with the hit though, and then a jump up, and use a blitz somewhere else. I don't hate that. You jump up, hit here. <laughs> I mean, if I was you, Aldar, I, I could put both up and mostly focus on... Um, ...the other game. Red Joker versus uh, fin Finny. We are going to go for the palm here. I would love to watch that game though, but I will have to catch a replay of it. Yeah, um... Russell was first, <laughs> and then Strip was also, like he had another one-turner uh, at the times he took all three of these level ups, I think. So this guy became the one turner after the other one died. Oh, he's, he's so he's targeting instead of the gutter runner, he's targeting the dirty player who's piling on. This is a very risky pile. If he doesn't break the armor, he's going to eat DP to the face. But he breaks the armor and KOs it. Yeah, yeah strip. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he wasn't... Um, he had another one-turner at the time he took Strip. And then it died afterwards. So this guy became the one-turner. That's why he's kind of like, not built optimally. Yeah, I guess he just, you know, thought that the DP was more valuable than a block gutter runner. I don't agree with his assessment. I'd hand off to this Russell. Or throw it to him. I don't want this guy getting bolted. He agrees with me.
Yeah, I would have went after the gutter. I agree with you, Excess. I totally agree with this play here, though. Uh, if you want, if the bolt's gonna come down, better it's on the 11 out of 16 wrestle catcher than the uh, 78 out of 176 blodge strength four tackle, blodge step strength four tackle catcher. And I think we're at the point where like you really just can't use the wizard anymore now if you're crystal hunter, because I mean, unless you're, you know, you can use the wizard here. You. Technically, you could um, bolt it, blitz a hole open, run in with this thrower, pick it up, maybe, hoof it to the gutter runner. It's just you need a lot of things to go your way in order for that to really work. Because this gutter runner could score from here, technically, this turn. So if you could get it to this gutter runner and then run down to here. The problem is you don't have a reroll. I think that would have been a play if you had a reroll, but... Like, you just can't do it without a reroll. It's just not likely to work. Roger blitzes again. I think you wrestle this down. Your AV6 against Mighty Blow. Yeah. And there's only two more players to act and you're not really doing anything. This Roger has been amazing though, right guys? This is like peak, peak Roger here. So I believe the palm will be coming in onto this storm Roman again. Could be the thrower though. You got a hit on the storm Roman. Oh, it's gonna be palming the storm Roman, and you're just gonna hit him anyways. Need an extra assist here. Yep. I think if I'm Fellows Coder Doll, I score here. You give the rats a chance to one turn, but. I don't like that base. He already had a two dice. I don't like that follow. It gives away this two dice. That was a late stun. Why did it take that long to stun it? Oh, that's the strength two guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was just saying like you you get to this point where you see it's an elf and you just immediately think to yourself strength three. But I mean, yeah, that's actually a strength two elf. <laughs> score now? Yeah, I'd score now. I agree with you, Excess. Just put it in. Your opponent has zero rerolls. What are they gonna do? One turn with no rerolls? You, you have a better re uh, one turner and you have a reroll. Looks like he's stalling it though. But I would just score. I think the likelihood that you are up at the end of this drive is higher if you score here. But I don't think he's also. I, I also just don't think that the ball's getting loose here because he's not going to waste the wizard to go zero zero, is he? No, he just loses the game that way.
Yeah, this is gonna be trying to murder a guard player. Mm. Good job, Roger. Good job, Roger. So anyone predicting that the Roger is going to get palmed next turn? Because I think it's going to happen. You definitely base up the strength too. And you base up this wrestle. So you can't get enough assists. <laughs> Roger finally doesn't want to nine to manage to not break AV6 for Mighty Blow. <laughs> yeah, that's not the Roger. <laughs> the Roger's a rookie. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice cheeky pal on a 1B. Doesn't get anywhere with it. Yeah, hiding behind the roger. <laughs> oh, you're definitely blitzing this gutter on a three dice, right? You got a wrestle hit here to free the ball. You blitz the gutter on a three dice. You get a hit here as well. You got lots of stuff you can do this turn. Yeah, no block or claw, but tackle and dodge. <laughs> and jump up. Don't don't forget jump up practice. Yeah. That, that's tackle on the gutter. Doesn't get him. And that's a touchdown. And fellas, code it all. Get out of the first half with a very convincing 1 0, despite not being their drive, <laughs> thanks to uh, Nuffle taking the wheel <laughs> early and often on the drive. You know, now it's, uh, now it's the, um, the Isles. Do they just one turn? I don't think they one turn. I don't think they have anything to fear of the other team. Ko gets back up. All Ko's get back up. So it could have potentially been a very one-sided half. It's going to be not. Yeah, one one turn is a way to deny the wizard. That is true. One turning is also a terrible idea. Do not do it. <laughs> I don't think we need reminding what one turning in playoffs does. Does, does anyone recall what one turning in playoffs is like? I believe it ends very poorly for the team that does one turns. If I'm the elves, I'm palming the hell out of this gutter runner. That does not save him.
<laughs> they make it to OTs. They don't even make it out of the first round drama set. They fail two of their one turns. Two of their five one turns. <laughs> Just blindly go for one turns. That's what happens. But Kumo Stern didn't just blindly one turn every time he had the ball. I don't remember him doing that at least. <laughs> he did against Michaels. Oh god, that game. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that game actually. The game that tied the game I'm thinking of. In terms of score. Yep, 5-4. Just like another famous one-turning game. So if I'm the elves, I'm opening a hole for my palmer, and my palmer is just jumping the hell on this one-turner. It looks like he's gonna one-turn, though. That's the only reason to put this guy on the, on the line of scrimmage here. He's gonna one-turn. I hope he trips and dies on the, the the end line. That was in the regular season, right, Aldar? I definitely heard about that game. Wasn't it 7-7 seven, seven or something? Oh, is that a one? S oh, he doesn't even get to use his free quick snap forwards because he didn't put the one-turner on this side where he could have stepped to here and then gone up this way. Yeah, he's gonna trip on a snake and die, like literally, on this square, and I'm gonna laugh so hard. If it happens, then I'm a prophet, and if it doesn't happen, well then, screw you, Nuffle. <laughs> So I definitely want to see this guy blitzing this guy. It's only seven ah. movement. He's so gonna need to knock all these players down though, first. Ha. Stay. Just block off his way. I guess he has to blitz this guy now. Oh, is this a chain push backwards? Still blocking off the route. I think he pushed this way. Okay, so this is the path going to... Are you going to go through the rogue? That's sketchy. I guess he's blitzing this guy. Get him out this way. No, he's just going to hit him. Are we literally going to be dodging past the rogue? Why? Why are we trying to dodge past the rover? I'm still blitzing here. Well. I don't understand what that does. I'm gonna tie up the dirty player because that's the most important player on the team.
I think he's still gonna one turn, but it's gonna be on a one and nine. Dodge. No, not one turning. He's just done this so much better. I think you just still hold it on this strength two dude. <laughs> Why is the strength two dude holding the ball? <laughs> oh man. Do you give the ball to this guy? Do you run the ball back and give it to the thrower? Yeah. He's holding it because he can't punch anymore, yeah. It would feel bad to bolt the strength too. <laughs> it would feel bad to bolt the strength too. Yeah. You could always just hand off to the thrower if you need it on the thrower. So you can palm this wrestle catcher, that seems good. You could palm the blitzer, that seems okay. You'd have to keep him if that was the case, Techie. That'd be just such a meme. Strength 1 catcher. <laughs> Bold strength 2 equals mercy killing. Surprised to see you still up at this hour, Metal. He needs to get a POW in order to palm the one turner, I think. Yeah. If he finds a pal, he gets the one turn, palm the one turner. Can he push? Push to here. Yeah, technically he can with a push. Yeah, he can do it with a push. I think he has the movement. Guard rat comes in. I mean, this is definitely the play everyone wants, right? Just to see Tunare die. Christian Hunter was made for this play. He's going for it, guys. He gets him. No armor break. No armor break. So he's got a good, you know, amount of elves screened up here. And he's got the ball under pressure, so... I don't hate the position he's in. So if this guy can hit this rat, 
but then he's got a shot at this one turner. With the Palmer. So you just one dice this rat. You have Wrestle. Two plus to get a Palm hit. Three, a two dice Palm hit. I like it. I put the ball safer somewhere, but um, I'd definitely go after this. Palm with Juggernaut on a th two dice it seems really good. You could be lame and go here. It's kind of lame. You could be lame and blitz here and then run this catcher down the end. But this guy, you're not safe and you can't score from here. You do you have to get this one turner off? the area with DP off the ground. Safe play is probably blitzing here on this Hello Super Base, running this catcher through. Ha! What? Where's the ball going? Where's the ball going? It's edgy three. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Um, they're both from two. Excess. Okay, so we're just holding the ball there. That is weird. Um, not for science is 2A, Rel, and Crystal Hunter was 2B and G-Man. I think? 2B? Maybe 2A? One of the two. They'll both be in the respective ones next season. I don't know about OT access, like, Crystal Hunter's still gonna have to score early, I think. Like, he's not gonna be able to stall it to 16. And there goes another gutter runner. And that thing's dead. <laughs> I don't know if I, I agree with you on that excess. I don't think it'll be 2-2. Two -two. We're assuming that Chris Hunter can keep the one-turner safe for eight turns. I don't think that's true. I do agree that this looks terrible in terms of the elves holding the ball right now, but... I don't think any of us understand this setup, Practical Snow. Yeah, he still has a bench. Um... The problem is this guy. I guess he's dead. Yeah, he just scores and off he goes, maybe. But this guy's not really that guaranteed to score in a one turn either. It's not the greatest in one turns. Shadowing.
Shadowing. Shadowing. <laughs> Shadowing so much fun. Shadowing. And no time left. <laughs> God, shadowing just eats the clock so badly. You have to just bolt here, right? Bolt and score. Like, you're not going to get a better bolt, right? Uh, why follow here? Uh, you you got to keep following because um, this guy was going to try and plug the back. The cage, I think. I think he's just, yeah, taking his time to think about the bolt. I think this has to be the bolt, though. You're never going to get a better bolt turn against this team. No bolt. I guess he can do it without a bolt? Is his, uh... His thought? Yes, it is naked strength too. Roger opens a hole. He can dodge in this way. Does he have an easy strength? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GF double GFI. Oh yeah, you one die this guy. Jump up here. Okay, jump up over there. Okay, spacing. He's doing the double GFI plan. But he did it by basing up his scoring threat. And that scatter is good for the elves. Ooh, 1D pow for oh. one turner. Oh no, guys. Oh no, one turner's down. No apo. He's a minus armor bust. We got him, guys. We got him. <laughs> That is massive. And then we try to pass it to here. <laughs> we fail. Well, this ball ain't safe. No, there's a quick pass. Yeah, it was a quick pass. There's a two up. There's a quick pass to this guy.
Okay, so he hits here, hits here. Strength 4 hits this guy. This guy hits here. Oh, KO'd the killer. <laughs> oh yeah, advanced dice lock. True. Now we get to palm the one-turner. No! Yes! <laughs> Palm, jump on it! <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, it was a bravery roll. I think it was nurse it though. I think it was worth it. Guard on the other side of the ball. Oh no, guard's gonna get there to be the receiver. You failed the sure hands. Nice handoff, idiot. That really sucks. <laughs> there had to be a way to chain this, right? Like I'm not I'm not making things up. Maybe I am. There was no one in here, and this guy was up here, so there's no way to get in here to get the chain. Yeah. Well, you don't score, you hand off to Rat and Stall. Right? So, the handoff's gonna be a double one. Too bad your mighty blow palm is gone. I'd score. Yeah, I'd 100% score with a wizard in pocket. And no one turner on the other side. Handoff worked. Maybe you just stall one turn. You don't roll the GFI. If it was a snake, you'd hate it. Snake into a death, that would suck. You can stall one turn, doesn't matter, right? Yeah, Palm Rat is KO'd. And you can't Palm him anyways, because he's got Spend. This game is at everything in it though. <laughs> or maybe you should just one turn. Well, I didn't think he was gonna put his strength to ball carrier in way of harm. Choosing whether or not to diving tackle? Didn't want to. 
That was the old bait into foul. Yes, you can shadow a diving tackle. Piling on guy has done not much. You can run your strength four back to threaten. I'm gonna blitz this guy, Rob, probably. Yeah, he did cast a gutter turn one. That is true. Since then, he's been trash, though. He's been trash, guys. He only killed two gutter runners. <laughs> trash he failed the one job he had <laughs> the one job <laughs> no going after the storm vermin instead of the dp was he gonna get to sidestep closer now That'd be a cool trick. No. What? What? <laughs> Why? Why are we chain pushing our Palmer onto dirty play? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, he's gonna foul this, but why are we just giving this for free? I guess it's just to entice him because now that the de the tackle is near the gutter runner. Oh, here comes the foul. See anything on the cheat? Yeah. I guess you base up from behind on this guy. No, you get an extra hit. <laughs> Dogs off the roger. Okay, yeah, I like that base. So I guess Crystal Hunter scores here. And then still has his wizard for the next four turn drive to win. Well, this was not for Sciences to lose at the end of the first half, and he's found a way to at least give back the advantage he had gained. <laughs> we can blitz the strength too because we have points. <laughs> Even with an anti assist, that's funny. Okay, and it's 1 1. Turns out leaving two dice on naked strength too. Yeah, that was not the greatest play you've ever seen. So they're just one turned. He'd set up his block smarter on the line, he would have had it too. I think he screwed himself when he went when he did the quick snap and he moved his players without really thinking about their angles of blocking. T 
10 for the elves. Please, for the love of God, put the one turner on the bench. Can he afford to have the one turn on the bench? That's actually a good question. Can he afford to put this one turn on the bench? He has a wizard. You want two gutter runners on the field, right? But this gutter runner is not safe there. Like, I blitz him every day. No matter where he stands, if he's this close, he can be blitzed. You run through the middle and blitz it. So, like, if I'm if I'm not for science, I 100% run this guy through and blitz the freaking killer, the one-turner. That way, if I do score on 16, Crystal Hunter doesn't have a one-turn. Or doesn't have a free one-turn. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Yeah, that, that's easily blitzable here. Up the middle, around, and blitz. Two dice. Palm. Juggernaut. Extra reroll for the elves. It's gonna be useful. Okay, that's good. That works. That, that, that's all you needed. This one needs to be a knockdown, and then this one needs to be a knockdown. Not a knockdown. Needed knockdowns on these to get this blitz on here. It's unfortunate. Not a knockdown. <laughs> these are not the dice I ordered. They're not the dice I ordered. You just hit this guy though. Maybe the dirty players were hit. It's unfortunate. I really would have loved to see him blitz this guy. Yeah, dirty player's the better hit now. You take the both down so that you can palm if you want. You don't need to. I wouldn't palm that. He palms it. Dirty player's dead. You see, you see what would have happened if he could have opened up this gap? That'd be a dead one turner. Just saying. Be a dead one turner. It's entirely how dice work, Rama said. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do all that. No rush. You just protect the ball. Strong line. Yeah, you can surf the guard. What was that? That was risky as hell, but it worked. It was a 4 plus dodge to get onto the gutter runner with diving tackle tackle. It's interesting. I mean, you're definitely in a great spot now. It was very ballsy. Maybe it's the type of play that wins the game, though. Scudder Runner not being able to move where he wants to is a big thing. But it gets palmed now? I'd palm it. Because this guy did get back. He's three dice? I don't think he gets three dice. 
No, he can three dice if the rogue moves here. You could blitz this strength catcher, Luke. You could add a two assists here and then blitz the catcher. I think that would be a good target. Actually, there's guards as well. You can hit the guard down first. But it would have taken some commitment. But yeah, definitely blitz this guy. Not gonna get him. Reroll? Gets him. Back this way to the thrower. Or this way. Weird direction. And diving tackle's dead. <laughs> oh, this game. This game, guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oh, this game is at everything. <laughs> Never stop being this game. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> never starting to understand why he, his team's so beat up. Yeah. This guy was badly hurt, but, you know. Oof. Technically safe, I think. Yeah, there was a stat bus he applied on like the first uh, thing against this guy. There was a niggle against this lineman. <laughs> We're palming the killer. Fail. Jump. Done. I'd be real scared of the bolt now though. This guy's in scoring range, this guy's a nuisance. coming up to here. Strauss it to turn four. No, just ball's gonna be up here. This guy can fill in as a screen. This guy can fills in here as a screen. Get a decent screen on this. Strength 4 is going to hit this way. I don't understand that base. Hit the roger. This ball is just not safe where it is. I guess you can now dodge this guy on a two plus to get to here, make it safer. <laughs> Oh, 
don't think this is the bolt. Could be though. Some blitz here. Those two dice. Get in with this gutter. Get it out to this gutter. Could be. It certainly could be a bolt truck. It's a fireball. And super thrower. Badly hurt. <laughs> KO. Uh, well then. I wish my fireball was that good. Yeah, it's completely clear. Chen Su holding down the fort. <laughs> Three-man fireball, not well advised, and it nabs two out of three, and they're both removals. I mean... It was a three-man fireball, Luke! Mine was a seven-man fireball! <laughs> oh, man. I'm never gonna live that one down. I'm never gonna live it down. push. <laughs> How far can we get away with the ball? That's what I want to know. 8, 9, 10. Not too far away. So he's going to have to worry about like these Russell players. This guy. <laughs> Okay, this still isn't great for the Skaven because they didn't go for the pickup with this gutter runner, which is what I thought they would do. I was surprised when he moved first. Yeah, definitely will make some GFIs, but GFIs are scary. Got the ball. Definitely needs at least one GFI. Gets one. Can do a second now. Gets the second. Will he snake the third? I think he's out of range, except for this catcher. But he never could stop this catcher. I guess he could put these line rats in the way. No, he's he's only movement five. So he can't. The GFIs there are very important. Stop this guy from getting through. He can open a path here.
You can open a path for sure. I don't like that spot. You go sideways, right? And then it's three plus, two plus. GFI. GFI fails, reroll. How's him? Break armor? No, but he catches it. That's important. He did need the assist. He did need the assist truck. He's strength too. <laughs> Strength 2 lineman breaking people's math every day. <laughs> he needs to put the guard here. <laughs> Lol, why? <laughs> I think everyone's been asking that question, Truck. Foul! <laughs> Stun for a send off. Was it worth it? Maybe. Can the L score? No, they can't. Dub skull! <laughs> Cause why not, Crystal Hunter? Why not? Why not make an unimportant block to dub skull it? I guess now he can get two guys back to make this a 1D. need them. He could have just went for the uphill. I guess the uphill's not great. And it was a 2D to free up. Oh, he's going for the two dice? I don't like that. He gets a pow, though. Best result. Ball went back. Can score with one GFI. Uh, nope, no he can't, because he's going to drop the ball. Because I think you guys had forgotten what game we were watching. They can't win, Lumi. They have no one in scoring range. They can take it to overtime. Wait, who's in scoring range, Lenny? Oh, it's because it's not, um, he's also at G3. <laughs> yeah, 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 because cyanide pathing. Because it's all three in front. Puts her technically in scoring range. It's not, he's not doing it though. There's, there's no way. 
How is he getting the ball if he's not blitzing back here? I think he'd rather blitz here, take this to OT. And even then, that doesn't win the game, Lumi, because the rats have a one-turner. So... <laughs> doesn't technically win the game either, even if he did score on the Blitzer. This game definitely could go to OT. If this guy gets stunned on this Blitz, I don't see the rats. I don't like pushing. Well, I guess he needs it for this. You think anyone's going to pick this ball up, Rama? I mean, everyone's just going to roll ones on it, right? Oh, he's got the ball. Is he punting it? Yeah, he's punting it. Okay, well, no one's... <laughs> this game's definitely going to OT. <laughs> I don't think he can throw it to anyone that can reach. Can he throw it to here from there? Might only be able to throw it to the ro to the roger. Any anyone know their passing distances off the top of their head? How many squares is that? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think eleven nine is passable. Is ten eight passable? Yeah, that's for the straight distance, David, but it's how many squares sideways, right? So is 11, 9, or 10, 8 possibles? Pass to the thrower? Um, yeah, that would work. <laughs> or you could fail jump up into a dub spell because this is the game we're playing. <laughs> you could just fail jump up into a dub skull. Hair doesn't get up. Who wins the OT toss? I think the L's have to win it if we want this to still be an interesting game. The rats win it. I think this is a win for the rats, guys. They have a full team. To so the L's, six players. And they get the ball. Yeah, elves definitely did get sloppy, practical. That is 100% true. They had a win in the first half, and then... Things did not go their way in the second half. Yeah, that first offensive drive just was not what he wanted. He set up for a stupid one turn, messed it up, and then kind of got flustered and made mistakes. That's what I think happened. But like, if you're going to set up for the one turn, you don't set up like in the middle of the line with their one turner. You put him over here and then you blitz away through. I don't, I don't understand why he set up in the middle. It was just so much harder to get that gap. Yeah. Like, if he wanted to do the one turn, which I don't think he should have wanted to do, personally. But maybe, maybe, like, one turn was fine. Hey, guys, it's a blitz. Hey, guys, there, there's an elf that can reach that. <laughs> because, because this game... <laughs> Just pushes. I think you re-roll that. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. I just want to go watch the other game. Oh, that's a fail. But the strength four has the ball. <laughs> I don't think he's going to have it for long, and he might die. But, um, yeah. So I'm Crystal Hunter. I put the Gutter Runner here. I'm sad that I'm so far away that I can't blitz this with Strip Ball. But I don't want to do a GFI. But I put the ball there. And then I 1 in 9 this block. And then I 1 in 81. And then he goes and scores. Yeah, I want to watch the other one too, Tamo. Okay, good. Okay, he didn't 1 in 9 this block, so I think he's safe, guys. Uh, that's a KO. Uh, 1, 2, 3. I think. No, it's a strength 4. You're never going to get a 3 dice. Okay, so what happens is he goes here, you only get pushes. He sidesteps this way, which means, yeah, I'd cover there. Oh, waste some pushes. That was risky, because if that was a dub skull, which, I mean, there's been a lot of them. If you only get pushes, you can still, like, do this, I think. That's not only pushes. Comes this way, because then... Hmm. That's... That's a stun. That's a pylon, probably. No pylon. I admire his restraint, but I would have piled that on, probably, just to try and kill it. Not piling on was smart though, he should move to like here. It's a bit risky here, this pickup though. Wait, that's a good spot too. Because if you snake this pickup and the ball goes down here, then all of a sudden you could have an elf, say like, all the way over here. I guess technically the strip baller is still in range of everywhere. Yeah, two plus for the win, for sure. We're gonna make a roger hit first, though. Oh, that was so close to turning over. If this guy wasn't strength two, he would have turned over. Most likely. Gets the two plus. The game is one. Next turn, you foul this. There's no way you let it get up. I think this one's done and dusted. Well, you know, you have to admire this wrestle guy for trying the miracle play. So you palm the palmer. You surround the two players that are still left on the pitch and you foul this one. Or you foul the Palmer. And you run the ball down to like here. This is a bit scary. Like a quad skull here. And all of a sudden like strength four can just go hit the ball, grab it and run. 
Like, it's a bit scary. I'd have liked the ball down here instead of up here before making this block. And caged. Maybe you have to foul this guy because he's got leap. But if you just get to like here, then it doesn't matter. I guess you can't get to there. So you build the cage here and you foul. I like that. Mm, that's getting a three dice. So you cage here by the roger and foul. Okay, this is out of range of this guy, which is good. I mean, <laughs> Crystal Hunter, even if he did win this round, is not likely going further in this tournament. Because he did just lose two gutter runners. That guy's sent off, but the ball is safe. Is it safe? Three plus. Five plus? Oh. Yeah, it's safe. I mean, he's gonna try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's we'll try it. <laughs> the true price is the injuries, not for science collected. He also lost some though. Like here's a here's an agi bus that he lost. So technically full. Uh, metal, he didn't gain that many injuries this game. Just a KO there. And he leveled this gutter runner, which is going to be very helpful since it's one of his only two gutter runners left on the team. And there you have it, guys. A crazy OT game that had pretty much everything in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to say craziest ever, but it was certainly crazy. MVP gets wasted on a legend, and then uh, this thrower, oh, so close to leveling. But yeah, that was, a, that was an exciting game, and um, <laughs> I dare I look at the, uh, the dice rerolls, the dice roll log. Dodges 75%, dodges 90%, dodges were good. Armor was real bad, especially for the uh, high elves. Pick up dice, three for three, seven for six, seven and six, three, three. Yeah, pick up dice were trash for both teams. The fireball was godly. Catches were pretty good. Yeah, a lot of them were sea palm. That is true. Or at least Claw Mighty Blow. <laughs>
Yeah, it was a crazy game. Block dice. 35, 34, 39. Even for the high elves. Uh, 40, 30, 28. Very bad for the, for the Skaven. Uh, these were not good. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to throw you guys over to the other game, which I'm going to go watch as well. So let me just grab that up on here. And do you guys know who's ca casting? Is it Crusader? I think it is Crusader. Yep. So I'm going to throw all you guys over to Crusader's channel. And you guys can go watch another rat team. And see you guys later.